All right, I have decided to make a quick update video on this thing. It's been a month and a half, I believe, maybe two months since we first got it and put it together. There's a couple of small changes that I made. Maybe we could call them improvements. I don't know. Uh, I was getting a lot of questions about the orientation of the ladder, the slide, and the climbing pole. Um, pretty much you could put any of those things wherever you wish. Uh, since the last video, I have switched where the ladder and the slide are. Uh, initially and out of the box, it says the ladder should go here, the slide should go here. The way that my yard is configured and the size of it, it's pretty small. This is in the right-hand corner. So the slide being over here kind of stuck out a bit and it's just kind of in the way for no reason. It makes a lot more sense with the thing in the corner for the slide to be over there. So I literally just switched that. My daughter's played with it for the past... Uh, I don't know, probably 45 minutes. She's happy about it. I'm happy about it. And that switch took basically, I don't know, 10 minutes to just unscrew, pop, pop out the stake, move things over. On this side, uh, this is here. There's anchors that are pre like uh, into the back piece of wood. So I just took that out. Honestly, it was support under the slide, but when you move it over here to this side, it's really not needed. So that's there. The only thing I'll call out if you're reusing the same hardware is that when you screw these things into place, they will poke out a little bit. Uh, so my next move is going to be to just get the angle grinder out and just take those sharp pointy edges off. Same over here. Um, so it'll probably be another five minutes tops. But the other advantage is the slide was kind of in the way of my daughter getting on this side of the picnic table with, or sorry, the stairs. The slide allows a much easier access to that little table. Um, one other improvement or change that I made was up here with the sink. I noticed that I had like this, this ring around the sink because water was getting in and didn't have a way to drain. And I didn't think about that when I initially put this together. There wasn't any instructions in the book. So I just dr drilled a couple of holes while I had the tools out in the bottom of the sink. Uh, so that the water doesn't sit in there. And obviously I'm going to clean that before my daughter continues to play with this now that I am aware. Uh, so I would recommend doing that. Um, but other than that, this thing is great. It's very sturdy. Oh, we got a lantern fly we got to kill. Got him. Um, oh, actually we got another one. This is turning into a lantern fly massacre. I think we got that one. Um, but yeah, that was the purpose of this video. Was just kind of show, hopefully that answers people's questions. So I was getting a few questions from a few different people about switching things around. Uh, one thing I will say is that the openings are not exactly the same width. So there is a slight difference. However, it's not m enough of a difference that it makes, it really matters. So uh, you could see that the slide used to sit within this gap here. The stairs are a little bit wider, but it still works perfectly. Um, and then as far as over here, the slide was narrower than the stairs. You just have, I don't know, maybe an inch and a half gap on either side of the slide. It's minimal. So it's not even something that I would really even worry about. And my daughter is only one and a half. It's not, it's a non-issue. Um, but that's it. We left the climbing pole where it is. She's too young for that at this point. She doesn't touch it. Um, but we're very, we're all very happy. Oh, one other thing I did, I forgot. Uh, I added these rubber, um, I don't know what you want to call them, rubber tiles down here, just to keep, you know, to having to maintain grass underneath. If you're on mulch or something similar, you don't have to worry about that, but these were pretty cheap and at, at BJ's. I put them in here and makes the ground a little more uh, clean for her to play in. But that's it. Uh, I do need to slightly level this thing. It's a slightly off level from when I first installed it by myself. I thought I did a better job, but I'm going to have to... I'm probably going to pull the stakes and just tip it and just dig down a little bit on the ground uh, where it sits. But like I said, hopefully this answers helps with people who are wondering if they could switch configurations around. The answer is yes, and it works out very well. 
It's very sturdy like this. I've gone down this slide since moving it and I weigh 180 or so pounds and it's fine. 